Okay, so in this tutorial I will show you how to get rid of blank pages inside Microsoft Word. And as simple as it sounds, it's not always that simple. So I have this document, is the outcome of my previous tutorial, and the first page includes the calendar, but then I also have two blank pages which I want to get rid of. Now you have to realize that uh, the blank page is not blank. If there is a page in Microsoft Word, it means there is some content, but most of the time you don't see this content. So the first things first, jump to the home ribbon and click this P button, which means show and hide invisible characters. So if I press it, you can see there are small P symbols in there. And the P means there is a new paragraph, which is a you know simple term of saying there is, a, you, you press the enter key on this, on this page. So what I can do is I can just start pressing the backspace key or just select multiple paragraphs at the same time with my mouse and press the delete key. And as long as there is no paragraph on this page, like so, if I press backspace, backspace, the page is not there. So we only have one page left. So that's a simple thing to do, right? You just delete everything that's there and the page is not there. But if I try to do the same thing in here, try to select everything, press delete key, the paragraph stays there. If I zoom in a little bit, if I press backspace key, delete key, select everything, paragraph is still there. And the reason for this is there is a table as the last element on the previous page and Word always wants to add a new paragraph below the table or after a table. So there are two ways how to get rid of this paragraph and this page entirely. So the first thing is try to make this paragraph as small as possible. And what I mean by that is I mean make the font as small as possible. So currently the body font is set to 10 points. I can go low, as low as one point and you can see the page is gone, which basically means that we've achieved the task, but let me show you what happens. So now if I start typing, you can see that something is happening down there. If I zoom in as much as I can, something is typing down below, but just because it's that small, it still fits on the page, which is great. If that solves your case, that's perfectly fine. But sometimes this is not an option. You know, if, if the table would be just slightly bigger, you wouldn't be able to fit even one point text. So the second way how to do this, how to get rid of the page, and let me actually type in something like hello, is to actually hide the text. And you can hide the text by selecting it, opening the font properties using this button in here, and in a font dialog, check the hidden. If I do so, well, it's not quite hidden. And the reason for this is because I have this show hide toggle turned on. You can see there is like dotted line below the text, which means that the text should be hidden, but it's not hidden until you check this show and hide button one more time. So if I press it, now it's gone and, and the page is gone because the text, the text is invisible. I can also click one more time. You will see the text and you can just continue editing this document or whatever you need. Okay, so those are three ways how to get rid of blank pages inside Microsoft Word. If you still have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I will try to answer those as soon as possible. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.